Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy EMW Figure Shelf and today I'm gonna do my AEW Revolution 22 predictions. Now without any further ado, let's get right into this. So we got pre-show the buy-in. We got QT Marshall against Hook. We all know who's gonna win that one. We're gonna go with Hook. We're gonna send Hook with the win. Uh, it's gonna be a quick match. I can't see it really being too much. I mean, QT's one of these really good enhancement type of guys. You know, with all due respect to him, he's just a very damn good trainer for a lot of these people. And he, on character, it shows that he's here to help these people out. So, I'm gonna give Hook the win. And moving on, we're gonna have Chris Dallander against Layla Hirsch on the buy-in. Um, I might go with Layla Hirsch in this one, extend this feud a little bit. Um, you know, this has been building a lot on elevation and dark and all that stuff. Um, so I expect this to be pretty solid. I, this is definitely going to be one of the longer of the two, um, on the buy-in. But I'm going to go with Layla Hirsch on this one, believe it or not. Um, you know, and one could say that, you know, hey, it's a pay-per-view. They're going to want, you know, the, uh, the baby face here, Statlander to win. I don't know. So far, I'm going to say Layla Hirsch. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, we're going to go to the main pay-per-view now, Revolution. Um, and those that don't know, pay-per-view, I believe. And um, in the United States, you can only get it on Bleacher Report if you're going to do it digitally. Um, between the two, I would recommend Bleacher Report. I know some people have issues with it. I wouldn't go through on the mobile app. I would order on, say, your Roku or the computer uh, for some reason, the mobile app is very glitchy, tricky, so I would do it on Bleacher. Um, or if you trust pay-per-view, that's fine, too. You know, so. Um, but again, this is only for the United States. Now, Ty Conti versus Jay Cargill for the AEW TBS Championship. It would be cool to see Ty get the belt, but I think it's maybe a little too soon. Jade's just got this belt. Um, now, by, the, by this Sunday, it'll be a little over two months. I don't know. I feel like you should keep her a little undefeated for a little bit. Maybe up until double or nothing, and then you have somebody take the belt from her. So, I'm going to go with Jade. I expect this to be a pretty solid match. Jade has been getting a lot better. I have been personally critical of her for quite a bit. But I, I think this is going to be a good match. Um, you know, and Ty is very polished. She's underrated in a lot of ways. Um... You know, so this is this is going to be a solid match, for sure. Um, AHFO, -A Isaiah Cassidy, Matt Hardy, Andrade Alidolo, and a Tornado Six-Man against Sammy Guevara, the TNT champion, Sting, and Darby Allin. I'm not too thrilled of the TNT title not being on pay-per-view. However, it will be defended on TNT. And at the end of the day, it is the TV championship, uh, or one of two, I should say. So... They're defending it as I'm recording this on Rampage. I don't know who the winner will be for that one. But, you know, I don't want to give a, a Rampage prediction here. But, uh, you know, as a recording, that has not happened yet. By the time you guys will see this, we'll know, you know, I'm sure Sammy's going to retain. I'll just say that. I don't see them going into a pay-per-view with, you know, a title change. Just like that. And he just got the belt back. You know, the undisputed champion, that is. But uh, for the six men, I'm going to say Sting, Darby, and Guevara. I think now we'll finally see the split of the HFO um, or AA or AHFO. Um, I'm just not feeling it anymore for me personally. I'm sure there's a lot of people that feel the same way. I, the group has kind of ran its course. And, you know, Matt Matt's waiting on his brother. And I think we're going to see Willow, a.k.a. Jeff Hardy, pop up very soon. Maybe as soon as Sunday. Or if not, we're going to see him in the upcoming weeks. Um, but, you know, the, the broken Hardys, or just the Hardys in general, against the likes of the Lucha Brothers, Jurassic Express, Red Dragon, uh, the Young Bucks again, um, and Darby and Sting, more importantly, um, I think are going to be very awesome matches. FTR and the Hardys. There's going to be a lot of good matches to come. But, uh, yeah, Darby's... Sting and Sammy, I will see winning this one uh, with the eventual, you know, debut of Jeff Hardy. Um, 
Jurassic Express defend the uh, AEW World Tag Team Championships against Red Dragon and the Young Bucks. Uh, again, they just got these tag belts. I don't know. I feel like we may see uh, Jurassic Express could very well retain, but I also could see Red Dragon getting the belts. I know, I, I, again, I, I know it's only been two months, but, I, you know, something tells me these tag titles... They have no problem with some of these championships in AEW changing hands quicker than others. However, they do protect their AEW tags. Um, so I don't know. I could definitely see uh, Red Dragon getting the belts, but I feel like it's also early. I'm going to ultimately say maybe Jurassic Express retain. Either way, that's going to be a lot of a lot a lot of chaos in that match. You know the. You know, the Young Bucks, I didn't think, are just there to add to this story that they're doing with Red Dragon and, you know, this sort of, like, weird, uh, you know, thing with Adam Cole. And this is, like, a holdover storyline. This is until Kenny gets back, and then we're going to see uh, the what they used to be called, um, you know, Red Dragon with Cole. We're going to see that group against the Young Bucks and Kenny down the road. Probably a double or nothing. Um, Chris Jericho against Eddie Kingston. Uh, this is going to be physical, most likely, I'm sure. I'm going with Eddie Kingston on this one. Just something about Jericho saying, you ain't going to get the big one. You ain't getting the big one. Jericho loves giving away um, what possibly could be him losing feuds. He did this with Orange Cassidy. He's done this in the past in his WWE storylines as well. Um, but yeah, I for sure see uh eddie kingston going with the win here um john moxley and brian danielson this is one of the ones that i'm personally looking forward to uh just as much as the uh the dog collar match um but i'm gonna go with moxley on this one uh, you're gonna see a lot of forms a lot of kicks i'm sure they're gonna be bruised up and you know, they're going to do, like, the typical thing where they're just going to wail on each other and Daniel's chest is going to get all welted up and seeing what Moxley from the kicks and, you know, Daniel with the forearms and all this stuff. So it's going to be a physical match, but I'm going to go with Moxley for the win. Uh, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, against Thunder Rosa for the uh, AEW Women's Championship, Thunder Rosa all the way. Uh, it just makes too much sense right now. To give her the championship. Um, Britain's held this belt now 10 months. I definitely would think that she's going to lose it this Sunday. Uh, and, th and that'll also be a really good match. Um, the face of the revolution ladder match. For the future AEW TNT championship title shot. Uh, Keith Lee, Orange Cassidy, Powerhouse Hobbs, Ricky Starks, Wardlow. And either Ethan Page or Christian Cage. Which is happening on Rampage. GD, Tony Khan. Uh, but anyway, I mean, giving the fans what they want, huh? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so Cage and Ethan Page will find out who qualifies tonight as of, you know, the recording. Once again, Rampage has not aired yet. So we will see what happens there. So far, I'm just going to go with Wardlow. I just, it this screams Wardlow. Getting the shot. Winning the TNT title, and he's going to turn from the, the pinnacle. Whether they be replacing him or not, uh, this sees Wardlow for me going up. Uh, so I'm going to just, I'm going to say Wardlow. I mean, I know, again, yeah, I don't, I know Keith Lee just got there, but it this just tells me Wardlow's winning this. And, uh, and also, too, I feel like we may see the start of a Keith Lee, Powerhouse Hobbs storyline. Uh, believe it or not, I'm going to save... Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the what could be the main event. I'm going to talk about it right now. And that'll be Adam Cole and Hangman. Um, honestly, this is one of those things where, you know, this happens with All Out. The world title is you know, kind of taking a back seat to a bigger storyline here. Um, Hangman, I just, without a doubt, he's going to, you know, win this one. I just can't see Adam Cole beating um, Adam, Hangman, Adam Page. 
just after, um, you know, Hangman had that war with Lance Archer. It just, to me, it doesn't make any sense. That's me personally saying that. But I'm going to go Hangman and a page on this one. And last but certainly not least, the dog collar match. To me, this is the true main event. MJF against CM Punk. This has been an awesome feud. This reminds me a lot of um, the Raven-CM Punk feud. And I highly recommend looking up um, the YouTube channel Promo Joe. His recent video from this past uh, week put up uh, little clips that show CM Punk what Wardlow was, um, ooh, what MJF was saying on, uh, you know, saying that he's a snake and, you know, the devil fooled everyone when he tricked, when he tricked everybody into thinking he had changed. That is along the lines of what CM Punk had said during his feud with Raven well over, you know, well close to 20 years ago or, you know, yeah, close to 20 years ago at this point. Um, there's a lot of remnants of the CM Punk, uh, Raven feud from Ring of Honor that, you know, culminated into a dog collar match. They've done cage matches, and that extended between TNA, between Ring of Honor, between, I think, Full Impact Pro, between IWA Mid-South. So there's a lot here that Punk is applying from that feud into this one. So it should be interesting. I'm, you know, overall looking forward to this match. I'm going to say Punk's winning it. I don't know if I could see Punk winning uh, or losing, um, you know, two matches in a row. Yeah, you could say, you know, MJF beat him twice in one match. <laughs> Technically, sure, but, you know, as far as, you know, start to finish, I see Punk winning this one. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Who do you guys got for the... Uh, for some of these uh, matches here, who are your predictions? Let me know down in the comments. And, you know, I'm, overall, I think we're going to have a good show on Sunday. Uh, you know, 8 o'clock, you know, Eastern Time. Like I said, pay-per-view, Bleacher Report. And then, uh, you know, if you're internationally, Fight is available internationally, whether in the UK or, you know, I believe mostly in the UK. Um, but, you know... This is going to be a very, very solid pay-per-view, I'm sure. Um, you know, like I said, with the Hangman and Cole match, uh, that's a match where I see the winner. I see Paige retaining. Um, this is one of those things where, for me, not that I don't like Adam Cole. I, I'm, I am an Adam Cole fan to a degree. I loved when they were the Undisputed Era, I'll say it, in, you know, in NXT. However... I just feel like right now, it's, you know, it's a little backwards. I would have had Archer and, and Hangman on the pay-per-view, and I would have had Adam Cole face uh, Hangman, you know, about a month or so ago. That's me personally. That's the way I would have done it. Well, let's say you. Um, you know, do you have Adam Cole winning? Do you have MJF winning? Do you have anything counteract? Let me know down in the comments once again. And... I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.